Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. You're new here, my name is Farquhar, product design and work in London. In this video, we're going to look at Freema AI and is it worth using to create a design portfolio? How simple it is to use? And we're going to look at the advantages and disadvantages of using this to create a portfolio site. Is it possible to create a portfolio site in one click? If you're new here, be sure to subscribe for future design related videos and let's get started. Let's head straight into Freema sites. You can go in the link in the description below to sign up for a free account and using the AI tools right now, it's all free as well. And we simply go to Framer, create a new page, and we're presented with this massive start with AI CTA. So why would you want to use this? So maybe you're looking for inspiration for your portfolio. You're not sure where to start. You're just looking for something a bit special, something unique. And maybe this can really help you get to that next step because sometimes the st first steps always are hardest and AI here can unblock you. Let's see. Is it causing more trouble than good here? Can you really generate a cool case study and portfolio template for this? This is what this video is all about. So if we press start with AI and it gives you examples of type of prompts you can put in here. And we've got things like a silk landing page. Uh, we've got a personal website, but we want a design portfolio. So the design portfolio and landing page or for common elements, a product design and working at Meta in London with three case study pages. Let's say a sleek design portfolio pitch. What sleek means again is different for me, for everyone, which will be really interesting to see, but let's press start. Now let's just press start and see what it is. So, so this is generating it real time. Uh, I didn't really say what colors or fonts I want to use but I believe if you say black and white it will just be black and white the content here is very wild um I mean for a car meta genius I wonder what model really this has been trained on because I'm guessing it's based on other portfolios off of the internet and stuff and it's just generating content for you and maybe this content might be useful and it just gives us an inspiration way to start but we can see on the right here, we can regenerate the templates and on the right, we can change the color palettes. For example, this black and white one looks a lot better um, and we can change the fonts in really shortly. So something I like, although it's Comic Sense, which is pretty much a meme font. <laughs> it's very good for accessibility though. Um, but yeah, I, I, I kind of like, let's just say this, this is kind of awful to be honest. Let's see this one here. And if we look at the content, case studies look a bit different. They, the format is just something that's not really I like, but let's try and regenerate and do something else to see if we can get something good. And let's try and generate a portfolio page that's a lot more personalized to me. Cause I think portfolios, they really just represent you as a person. What type of colors do you like? What type of stuff does it interest you? And I guess with generative AI, you don't have complete control of what this looks like, but let's try and change the prompts to get something that more personalized for me. Uh, and like with my personal portfolio page, these are some of my favorite colors, like purple, like I like this bold type of language here, and I love my scroll with the banner. And I just like this iconography I just made myself as well. I guess that's what portfolios to me are about as well, but it's not essential. And if you're sure on time, this can help you out. But let's try and get something a bit better. So a sleek, black and delight design tool for the landing page with pictures on London. Let's see how this turns out. So it's generating the page and look, it's black and white as well. Oh, it's really different this time. Uh, again, it's very bold. Uh, content's very off to be honest. And I said London pictures and oh, I'm trying to recognize that the sun is smiling like that. I don't need to know where that is. But yeah. Dude, like, this seems like New York or something. <laughs> Unless I don't know London, but yeah. Hmm. I think, again, it's a good start. Like, you can get away with a, a, a portfolio, but portfolio, if you don't, if you can short time, yeah, sure. You can generate and change all the content and copy, but I think it should be more personalized in it. So if you look at some of the content here, it's just things like Meta Monster. I'm not sure, like which can change, obviously, all of this. 
um, by catching those layers called the digital page. Um, yeah, I think look, this is a base and you can only just chop and change it. And I think that's the key here. It's just a base. So I guess, well, then the components called Vayner. And then it can change it a lot, but let's try and generate other case studies and pages to see how we can really flesh this out. And I think the key here is, all right, we've got this theme, but can now we use this inside of case studies as well? Like it's chosen this theme for us, but can it transfer this over to other cases to create a consistent website, which is quite important. So here I've created a new page, case study one, start with AI. So a sleek case study page in right that goes over the sleek design piece so then hopefully the AI knows what design case study should have that goes over a car sharing ride sharing app quick and let's let's see in real time what's generated here This is just really like, first of all, the annoying thing is, is that we've got gradients and loads of images going on here. Here is not consistent so ever. Let's see if the structure of the case study is any decent. So it's called a sleek share. And, and it's, is it using the same IA as the previous pages? I don't think it, no, it isn't. And that's a, that's a bit of a problem here as well. Again, this is a very new feature in beta. Ah, this is just so off. It's a, I said a design case study page. Um, let's try and like regenerate and see what happens really from here. But honestly, I wouldn't recommend. I obviously, and um, yeah, even need to like really understand how design portfolio looks at well to understand this is really off but let's give it another chance a mm -hmm. design case study page black and that let's just get rid of me up a bit we're asking too much uh, let's retry it in a minute let's try to regenerate this page because the first time was very disappointing it missed the command completely we were changing the prompt um, and it's generating the page Oh, this looks way cooler, but it looks like a landing page. And um, again, this very much looks like a landing page. And uh, this looks like a landing page to sell for yet. So I feel like it's pretty weak in terms of generating this case study content, but I feel like they just have to work the model a bit, but the designs and so it, it just gives you inspiration. For example, some of this like these shapes are really nice and abstract and really cool um and i think you can carry on just regenerating until you have something that is personal to you but i guess one would argue someone's design portfolio is maybe inspired by someone else anyway and the ai has been trained on other portfolio case studies so really it's just another way to seek inspiration there's nothing wrong with that as well but this is just the wrong case study content, which is just something to be wary of. But in terms of generating landing pages and stuff, it seems to be okay for this. But again, it's only if you're happy with it, something when it comes to portfolio and no one's going to really be like, oh, that is clearly generated by AI. And you can't really tell. But then if there are mistakes and stuff, then you're going to be accountable to resolve that. And again, I think portfolios will be shame if you don't personalize things for you but you use this as a base and then maybe you change things like the fonts like oh i'm not really happy with this font like i want to change this font to for example pop ins or something like this you know but let me show you some other case study templates i've generated but here's an example of another portfolio page that i generated using a and place a prompt on my own and Again, it does a good job for starting, but I'd heavily just change it. So it's easy to change the themes like really simply. But I was, again, I know what I have in my head of what I like as a product designer, and it's good to start with, but it's not something I would personally be happy with as my personal landing page. Um, and here's just an example of actually just not doing a portfolio page of 
I was looking at maybe something completely different, like a youth website, for example. Uh, a youth club landing page for Muslims playing sports, having fun building community. And I thought this was a good start again. Um, but I feel like when it comes to AI, it's a tool and it's here to maybe help speed up your process. But you can clearly hear, see here that it's not really at the stages of completely taking your job as a product designer and generating all the designs for you. There's a lot of weaknesses here. Um, and like I said, use this as something to support you, to aid you, to maybe quicken up your process, to unblock you, to get inspiration and ideas. And there's nothing wrong with that as well. And I'd go with full confidence as making this like a place to start. And I highly recommend people to look at this as you're struggling. So there we have it, Freeman AI. And one caveat that is clear here is that it can just get you off the starting blocks a lot faster. Your design portfolio represents your execution skills and your visual skills. And would you like that behind your name? Like clearly there's a lot more to have here and I wouldn't highly recommend just using this as a solo thing. So I highly recommend you just using this as a starting block or maybe you don't have to use this whatsoever. It's just good to be aware of it. And technically you can create design portfolios using this in a couple of clicks, but the case is are very weak right now as well. And the whole point of your portfolio is the content is the content inside. It should be personalized about you. We want to see what you're all about. Thank you so much for making it to the end of this video. I hope you found it useful. And maybe you might want to use Framer AI to create your portfolio. I wouldn't say there's anything wrong with doing this. And if it helps you land that job and you'll get your portfolio out faster, then go for it. But as, as I said, you want to maybe create something more personalized and having something from the ground up might be easier to do that. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and comment down below if you're using Framer AI for future portfolio and subscribe for future sound videos. And I'll catch you on the next video. Peace out.